Warning, anytime you're using high pressure, you're doing so at your own risk. High pressure air is extremely dangerous and only use the following video for entertainment purposes. Always consult a professional to complete electrical work. You will want to reference all user's guides and owner's manuals prior to use. If you have questions, please reach out to the manufacturer for answers. This video does not include all details of the Alkin W31 compressor. And for manuals and parts lists, visit www.alkinus.com. One thing this pandemic has taught us over the past few months is that we need a reliable source of air if we're going to continue our fun. And of course, like anything in this world, we have multiple options on how to get that air. And like most things, you're gonna get what you pay for. Let's take a look at the hand pump, for example. It's gonna fill up your air gun, but it's gonna take a lot of work for you to get there. And that's not any fun at all. If you buy a cheaper compressor, well, it's gonna work for a while as well but you're running the risk of never knowing when it's going to break. And when it does, are there going to be parts available to fix it? And finally, it takes you to the far end of the spectrum, and that's purchasing a more expensive compressor like the Alkin W31 that I have here today. And when you purchase something like that, you're going to wonder, are those dollars really well spent? So I took it upon myself to get a couple high-end compressors to bring to you. And that way you can have an idea of what you're actually purchasing when you're looking at this end of the spectrum. So before you go any further, you're gonna to wanna to hit that subscribe button as well as ring the bell to ensure when any of these new videos are released. The first compressor that we have in front of us today is the Alkin W31. And this compressor originates out of Turkey. Now Alkin does have a distribution site out of New Jersey that they're working from. And this means that they have a lot of parts and knowledge here in the United States. The Alkin W31 has a maximum working pressure of 350 bar, and it's really considered one of the only continuous use compressors in the consumer marketplace. As a matter of fact, this compressor is also being used in a lot of air gun shops as well. And why? Well, that's because this air gun compressor can fill up those really large tanks used in cascade systems, and then keep those tanks full during high use times. Let's talk about what we need to do to get this compressor up and running. First and foremost, you're gonna need a 220 volt outlet as well as a 20 amp or greater circuit to run the electrical motor. You're also gonna need 24 inches or two feet around the entire sides of the unit. That way you can keep it cool and keep that air free of moisture. Now you're gonna go ahead and have to purchase a plug as well for the end of the power cord. At first, I found this to be a little bit unusual, but as I've come to find out, it's a quite common practice when you're talking about the high-end compressor market. And why, you might be asking yourself. Well, this is due to the fact that there's so many different plug shapes in the 220 volt circuits, and they wanna make sure that you have the plug that's gonna match your circuit. It does give you the option, if you don't wanna hire an electrician, to go ahead and get yourself a dryer plug, because you know what? Your electric dryer, well, it just so happens to run off of 220 volt, and it definitely has a 20 amp circuit. Now that we have the basics taken care of, let's talk about some of the finer aspects of this compressor. First, you'll notice that this is a three-stage compressor, and those pistons are aligned in the shape of a W, and that's where they get the W in W31. You'll also notice that this is a vertical design, meaning it is going up and down versus the typical compressors that you see that lay on the floor and go side to side. That vertical design means that you have a smaller footprint and also it comes with two wheels so you can move it around very easily. And I will tell you, you're definitely going to be utilizing those wheels because this is a very heavy compressor. Fill times are extremely important. So let's go ahead and begin by looking at what a fill time on this 75 foot Omega Patriot is going to take from completely empty to full or 4,500 PSI. And this compressor can fill that tank in as little as 19 minutes. And if you're just topping off your tank from a 3,000 PSI to 4,500 PSI, well, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put a clock right down here and you can watch the clock for yourself and just see how long that compressor actually takes. Well, with my tank over here getting filled, let's go ahead and take a look at how the three-stage Alkin W31 compressor actually works. The first step of this is that you have an intake here, and this is where the air is gonna be sucked out of the atmosphere and into the first stage of the compressor. 
From the first stage, we do have an intercooler that runs into the second stage to help cool the air between stages. And then again, from the second stage over here, we also have more intercooler tubes that run into our first water separator. From the water separator, and I should mention, this water separator is where you're going to get the most water exiting the compressor. From here, it's going to then enter into our third and final stage where the air is going to be pressurized up to 4,500 PSI into a, a second water separator, and then finally into our purification device here and filter. And we have our final water separator down here and a filtration system that can be changed as easily as turning this and pulling it out and removing it. One thing you wanna keep in mind is that you will have to stop and empty those water separator units every 10 minutes for approximately seven seconds. A second thing you'll want to remember is that you will not have air escaping out of the compressor immediately. That's because this filter works best when it's under pressure. And you're just going to have to reach about 2100 PSI before air will begin to exit the unit and begin to fill your tanks. Now, one other thing that I have not mentioned is an auto shutoff. And well, that's because that we have a automatic safety valve right here, which releases pressure at 310 bar or 4,500 PSI. Now, the company states that you do not want to just rely on this. You wanna be with your compressor and watching the tank fill the entire time for safety purposes. And you don't want to rely on that to tell you when the tank is full. Remember that is a safety feature versus a let you know the tank is done feature. Now, if you want, that aspect on this compressor, you can also add an auto shutoff at the tune of $600. And the one thing that I like to see changed about these is I think all air gun compressors should have that automatic shutoff added automatically just for safety reasons. Because if you're filling up a gun that says, well, it might only need 250 bar, this will not go off, this auto safety will not go off until it is way over that amount. The auto shutoff that is available does have a small scale on it that will allow you to fine tune that shutoff pressure as well as needing a tool though to go ahead and adjust that scale. And I would like to see that be able to be used by finger tightening alone. That way you don't have to worry about having a screwdriver or a wrench with you at any time you're using the compressor. Now with any compressor, including this one, there's also some basic maintenance schedules you're gonna need. The Alkin W31 compressor, like many others, has an hour meter that's gonna help you track when your next maintenance cycle is needed. And you need to know that you're gonna to have to replace this filter here approximately every 50 hours of use. Here you'll have an option. You have the option to repack your own filter or cartridges, and that comes with an aluminum filter in here that you can just repack, which is nice because it not only saves you some money, but also helps to be more environmentally friendly than those plastic drop-in cartridges that other units use. Let's talk about the cost of those. So I mentioned before, if you repack your own filter, you're gonna save some money. Those refills will run you about $24. Or if you do wanna go ahead and get the cartridge drop-in feature, that is a $54 option. What else are you gonna to need to do? Well, you're also gonna to need to maintain an oil change every six months or 100 hours. They suggest using Anderol 750 oil or as the compressor says, 755, both will work fine. A gallon of this oil can be ordered off the Alkin website at $82 per gallon, which seemed kind of expensive at first until you do the math. One gallon is going to get you six oil changes at a cost of $13 per change. So it really isn't that bad and allows you to buy it in bulk so you have it on hand when needed. Alkin also does suggest more thorough maintenance at each 1,000 hours and another specific maintenance change at every 4,000 hours of use. Alkin does do a nice thing here. They provide maintenance packs with all of the materials that you're going to need to perform these maintenances at these higher hours. And just so you know, the 1,000 hour maintenance pack is going to run you $830 and that 4,000 package, which includes having to change safety valves and so forth, is going to run you approximately $1,000. And the contents of these packages can be seen on the Alkin website if you so desire. Also, 
make sure you check out Alkin's YouTube page here in the United States because they are developing it and they are getting a lot of DIY guides on there to help you maintain and troubleshoot anything that could be going wrong with your Alkin. Now, you might be saying to yourself, that's an expensive endeavor. And well, it is, but keep in mind, what does a thousand hours of use look like for the typical air gunner? And if you do the math, let's just go ahead and say that it takes 15 minutes to go ahead and refill your tank. Well, how many 15 minute fills do you think you're going to get? About 4,000 fills. So I really don't think you're going to need to worry about those aspects anytime soon, but I really did want to make sure that you knew about them so you could make a educated decision if you're looking at compressors. But what does 4,000 fills equate to? So are you saving money? Well, most places are going to charge about $7 to top off a tank. And if you do $7 times, you know, 4,000 fills, well, that's going to end up being about $2,800. So yes, a compressor of this size, although expensive, can really save you money in the long haul. Well, Air Gunners, that is all I have for you today. Make sure that you check out my other compressor reviews, hit that subscribe button, and of course, until next time, may your trigger pull stay smooth, your pellets fly straight, and we'll see you again next time on the Airgun Advisor.